Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot MX Linux and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started so open your web browser and search for MX Linux and go to the official website go to downloads and download the latest version of MX Linux ISO and by default the desktop environment is XFCE And once you have downloaded it, go to another tab and search for Rufus. Download the latest version of Rufus. Once both files are downloaded, close your web browser and insert your pen drive, which is at least of 4 GB and more. After that, go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the ISO file of MX Linux which we just downloaded and for the partition scheme select GPT and then click on start and OK. This process is going to take some time so I'm going to cut this part. Now once this process is completed, close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now select your correct drive and then right click on a largest disk and select shrink volume and give at least 40 GB of space for MX Linux. Now it's time to restart our computer and boot from the MX Linux Live ISO USB. So click on restart and while restarting make sure that your secure boot is disabled in BIOS and press the escape key or F12 key to open boot menu and select USB option from there. Now it will boot into MX Linux ISO file. So finally we have put it into MX Linux ISO file. At startup it will show a welcome screen. You can ignore the welcome screen and you can click the installer at the desktop and it will check for the installation media. You can skip it by pressing the escape key. After that it will ask us to choose our keyboard layout and language. You can select English and US. Now you can open disk partition called gparted by clicking this icon and it will show up your partitions and it will allow us to create or delete partitions. Now make sure that your correct disk drive is selected in gparted and you will see the unallocated partition which we created on windows. Now right click on the partition and select new and first of all we need to create a EFI partition. So give at least of 500 MB space and the file system as FAT32 and click on add. Now click on the unallocated space again and select new. This time give the remaining free space as it is and ext4 as file system and click on next. Now click on the checkbox at the top and it will create those two new partitions. Now once it is done you can close gparted and the installer will refresh the new partitions. Now select the 500 MB partition FAT32 and mount it as ESP. Now select the ext4 partition which you created and mount it as forward slash which is root partition. And once it is done you can click next and the installation will begin further.
it will ask for user details and password just type your details and after that the installation will take some time to complete so I'm going to skip this part finally the installation is completed now I can just click on finish and it will automatically reboot into MX Linux and if it does not automatically reboot into MX Linux then you can go into your BIOS menu and change the boot priority of MX Linux to be at the top while you start your computer you will see this crop menu now you can choose MX Linux option to boot into MX Linux and another option which says Windows Boot Manager will boot into Windows 10 or 11 so first I'm going to boot into MX Linux So as you can see MX Linux is working just fine. Now I'm going to boot into Windows to check if Windows is working properly or not. So at the startup I'm going to choose the option which says Windows Boot Manager and as you can see I'm able to boot into Windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you